Hi guys, welcome back, and this is my yard routine on the farm. I'm gonna feed the ponies first, and then we can go around and feed the other little ponies. Hey girls. Moving on to the full livery barn, I'm just gonna go around and feed all of these before we can put them out in the field. So we're just gonna go feed Massimo and the baby who's just turned oh. one. Give Mass his feed. And then mum, you can feed magic. This is Mum's new little one-year-old. Preparation because we have to catch him. Yeah, he's completely feral. So <laughs> we and um, we bought him knowing this. We just need a lot of bonding, but we're soon getting it with food. It's, it's like a bribery. Love us. <laughs> we're just closing this bit of the field off, just so we can get boys into their trap system. Libraries courses, and um, this is Nixie and Mini Legs, and then Mum is leading Oscar and Willow out into the field. to be honest they're not that dirty because i give them quite big straw beds so they don't tend to get as dirty so firstly what i do with my ponies is i go in their stables and i collect all their food bowls from the night before and this morning so and i like to keep everything with the ponies like with their feed bowls and everything color coordinated just because it's easier to know who's who's feed and if anyone's chucking their feeds in for me or like my mom or she doesn't know where they are they're very easy to find so it's easy so i'll get their feed bowls and i'll just place them outside so i can wash them out later and then I'll just go in and collect all their hay nets, fill their hay nets up and put them in soak because they have to go in soak and it takes a while. So I might as well do it while I'm mucking out. 
all their hay nets and then I'll take them over to the hay barn to fill them up. This is this is basically a pulley so that you can attach the hay nets and pull them out of soak. So that's really handy. Let's put that out. I'll just continue to spray down the hay and make sure that's all properly soaked. Start mucking out. So I'm just going to grab my wheelbarrow and a fork. One nice clean stable and we're just going to take this to the muck heap. to the mucky. I totally forgot that I was uh, soaking hay and now it's like caused a big leak. <laughs> Oops. So all the yard is clean and all the stables have been mucked out. So little Alistair's got a nice big straw bed and I'll put his hay on later when I put the boys' hays in. Now I'm just gonna wash their feed buckets out. So I'm just gonna rinse them a little bit. Just sort of I'm just gonna make up the ponies' feed. So the ponies literally just get a scoop of this molasses three. Um, chaff so they just get a scoop each like a little bit of nuts up the other end and now I'm just going to tie him up and tack him up. 
just take him out for a little hack. Say hi. You want to do your little trick? Say hi. Say hi. Come on then, you can do it. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Good boy. So this is Nebo. This is my jumping pony. He is mainly the most in work at the moment. I am currently doing, I was doing BS jumping with him, but because he's a 148, he can actually go into seniors, but it would obviously be a horse stride. And I thought he would struggle because he's a pony, but he's not actually such a little pony, like he's quite big. So he coped with it quite well. Um, that membership, I think it's expired now, but yeah, that that membership expired. So now I'm just literally taking to some little unaffiliated. We've just qualified for our Sunshine Tour and Trailblazers. So yeah, <laughs> I think we've just got to get two more. So I'm just going to tuck him up. Yeah, I'm just going to tuck you up um, and take him on a little hack. He's already been groomed. It, you can't see his legs, which is good, but he's got little white legs and they're not very clean. But I left them because he's going on a hack in the forest, so there's not much point in like, getting any dirt off them. Because otherwise, I'll just hold his legs and they'll be all cold. Yeah, they'll be all cold. So Nebo is a Welsh section of D. Um, he's just turned 17. I've not had him that long actually. I've had him about riding him about a year now. Um, yeah. But he is literally good as gold. Like he will do anything for me. Like he's just so lovely. Um it's just nice to have a horse that I know that I can just go in the ring and I've not got to worry what he's thinking as long as i say we're going we're going so he's a good boy <laughs> just took him up the track and then I walked him up the lane which he doesn't really go up too often so he's like all spooked out he's like oh my god what is that um but now I've just returned to the normal hacking route which we've got like a loop that goes round our farm but I would say it's a quick 20 minutes if you're like mostly cantering round but like a quick like 20 to 25 minute loop um so what I tend to do is I normally trot him, I walk him halfway up the track, then start trotting him. And then I'll get to here, and then when I get down here, I'll just give him a nice little canter up to the top of the hill. Um, and then I'll just walk him through the forest and do the same trot to the gate. And then from the gate, I'll canter to the other gate. And then he can have a nice walk and stretch back to the farm. So... That is the plan of the hacking routine today. I'll let you know how we get on. <laughs> Very excited. Right, now we're going to have a nice little chilled 
walk through the forest. Now we've got to attempt to open the gate. So we've got to attempt to open the gate. We just kind of the whole way round this field. He is obviously feeling good and fresh because I couldn't stop at all. There was no way I could video that because, yeah, I literally think I would have fell off if I had the phone in my hand as well. He literally just goes zero to a hundred very quick. And you never know when it's coming because he's very chilled and he's very like, oh yeah, whatever, I'm fine. Like when we had a canter up there, we said, oh yeah, we'll just have a nice little canter. Went into the open field. Wow. Very fresh pony. So, gate number two. And then we're going to give him a nice walk home. I think he needs it. Well, he doesn't seem like he needs it. He's full of energy, but I think I need it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> this is the reason why we didn't wash your legs before we went out. Because you get filthy. You get so muddy. Look at that, ears. Take them round. Where are we going to go? Well, I thought we just got the lane. We've got a nice big field um, up the top, so we just do a little bit of schooling. Yeah, so this is the youngster. So she just needs some groundwork and some schooling. She's super, though. Super honey. Online. She's one Online. Of She's our favourite. Yeah. She's a lovely. She's a good girl. Everybody wants a honey. She's so lovely. We've just got, oh, well, we're basically nearly home from our hat. Yeah. Honey was a little bit more fresh today, isn't it? Yeah, she was, honey was full of herself. Yeah. So, I get full of herself sometimes. Yeah, I think we both got a little bit excited. <laughs> my mum brings Ben, Gillis and Lydia in, I'm just going to put the ponies' hay nets in their stable because they've just been drained from being soaked. So they're very heavy, so I'm just going to put them up. Just put Honey's hay net up, all ready for tonight. Coming in. I just grabbed the boys in, I'm just going to put them in their stable. for bed. So is Nebo. And so is Honey. Hello. Hi. Hey lady. His hair is wild. Mum hogged him. And then um we're in the process of growing it back, aren't we? So his hair is crazy. <laughs> In Massimo, the little baby, and the other little baby in. So I'm just gonna get Mass in, and then Magic, the little cult, should follow Massimo, according to. How cute. So I've just fed the ponies, as you can tell. She's very greedy. So I'm just giving Nebo an extra water bucket just because he has his blue one, which he just put hail in. 
but he doesn't touch it like don't get me wrong he will drink it if he's in need but most of the time i come back and it's full and i'm just like surely you need a drink like in the night so i'm putting a green one in not sure if you don't like the color do you maybe you're just fussy with blue but I'm not sure, we're just gonna test it. I'm just, I'm not gonna fill it all the way, but I'm just gonna fill it just so he's got the option of the other bucket. And I'm gonna see if he's drunk out of it in the morning. So, a little experiment, but I'm hoping he does because I don't really want him not drinking. Hey. Maybe he's just fussy. Bringing the full liveries in. <laughs> this barn's all fed. I've just fed everyone. Everyone's got their pyjamas on, ready for bed. Um, just got to now shut up the gates, get ready to go. So that's it for today's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye.